Good morning, everybody. Welcome to our English lesson for Monday, the 20th of April. So we're going to start a new topic in our English work, and I will be introducing a new story to you over the next couple of days. But for today, we're going to actually have a little bit of fun. So our learning objective for today is to create a model or diagram of a farm setting. So have a little think. Have you ever been to the farm before? When you went, what was it like on the farm? What could you see? What could you hear? What could you smell, taste or touch? So have a think of all of those five senses and what it was like when you went to the farm. Well, taste and touch and think really carefully about what it was like on that farm. If you are finding it a bit tricky because you've not been to the farm, then here are some ideas that will help you. So here are some pictures. We've got a cow, a cat, a hen, a pig, a sheep and a horse, which are all very common animals that you would find on a farm. And each of the pictures also show you where that animal might live and what that animal might eat. So you might remember when you went to the farm, maybe feeding the sheep or um, throwing some food into the pig, pig pens. So have a little think, use the pictures to help you, use your five senses to help you and Send me all your ideas of what you've come up with. Just give yourselves about 10 minutes to write those ideas down and then we'll continue. Hope you had lots of fun whilst you're exploring the farm. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing all of your ideas and using your five senses to tell me what it was like. So the next part of the lesson, which fills, uh, completes our learning objective, is to create a model or a diagram of a farm setting. So to create a farm using anything that you have at home or draw a diagram of a farm. So what I want you to see, what I want to see from you is somewhere that you have created a farm. So if you've got access to Lego, you might be able to create a farm if you're really creative using Lego. Or if you've got access to Minecraft and you can, or you've got the download for Minecraft, maybe you could create a virtual farm on Minecraft. If you've got some small world animals, such as the picture at the top here, you could create a farm. This is just two pieces of paper where I've used some felt tips to create the pig pen and the duck pond. And then I've added some plastic animals to the farm as well. Or if you've got some toys, such as the ones here in this picture, you could create your farm. Again, it's just set up with all the different areas for the animals to live. If you are finding it a bit tricky because you haven't really got anything like that, it's absolutely fine. You could also do a drawing of a farm such as this one here. So we've got all the different animals and where they might live on the farm. If you find it easier, use a piece of paper from your maths book with squares on it to help you to draw them um, to, to show me your drawing. So have some fun, create a really good farm and then send me what you have created. So how did you get on with creating your farm? Did you manage to draw your diagram? Did you manage to create it using Minecraft or did you use some small world? Don't forget to send me your creations. Ask your parents to email it to me and tomorrow hopefully we will pop some on our school website so you can see each other's well done for your English lessons today. You've been absolutely brilliant and enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye bye.